What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to go over what Payload CMS is. If you're interested in Payload CMS, be sure to hit the subscribe button and get notifications for when a new video drops because I'll be doing a lot of content about Payload CMS. Now, Payload defines themselves as the back end to build the modern web. To break this down, you must understand the difference between front end and back end. Now, I know for some of you, this is gonna be a refresher or maybe too elementary and that's okay. I think it's good to always go back to the fundamentals and understand what we're actually doing. So to put it simply, the front end of a website is the part most people see. That's what you see when you go to any site like Apple or Payload CMS. In fact, let me show you real quick. So we will go to payloadcms.com and this is what we'll be spending a lot of time going over. And so what we see here is the actual front end of their website. So this is powered by Payload CMS. So they have the whole back end built with their own CMS, which is great to hear that, you know, they use their own tools. And you can see the tagline right here, the back end to build the modern web. Now, the back end of a website is the portion of the site that powers the front end. This can include a content management system, or CMS, or an inventory management system for e-commerce, think like Shopify. This is the role Payload seeks to fill. That's the first part of Payload's definition. The next is what it's designed to do, which is to build the modern web. The modern web is usually a description of the type of website that is visually appealing and interactive. Payload seeks to be the backbone of such websites by providing a developer-first, marketing-friendly backend to power interactive sites. Payload CMS is built using Next.js. It's open source and is the first CMS that can be embedded directly into another Next.js project, which is really unheard of in CMS. Typically, when you set up a CMS, you have to set up a reverse proxy in order for it to be on the same domain. But using Payload CMS and Next.js, that's a thing of the past. You just drop the payload CMS instance into your current Next.js project, and there it is right at the admin path. This means that you no longer need to host your backend separately from your front end. You can keep them both in the same Git repository and publish them at the same time on a platform like Vercel. Because of how payload is built, it's extremely flexible in its implementation. You're able to build your own plugins, roll your own authentication process, and choose how the backend looks and functions. There are two options to host Payload. You can either go the self-hosted route and spin up your own hosting and database, or use their Payload Cloud offering, which includes the hosting and database in the cost. Here, let me show you. So if we go over to payloadcms.com, you can go to the Developers tab, and then go to Cloud Pricing. And here you can see how you can deploy your entire stack in one place, again, self-hosted, where you can see the options here and the self-hosted tier, but it's free, it's open source, you can deploy it wherever you would like to, assuming you have the skills and the knowledge. But then they have these three paid tiers, one for standard, one for pro, and one for enterprise, and each of these has their own perks for each tier that you can choose from if you don't wanna spin up your own payload self-hosted instance. And that's it for what Payload CMS is. Now, it's pretty simple to talk about what Payload CMS is and the needs that it meets, but if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments and I will get around to answering them, whether in the comments or in a future video. Payload CMS has been thrust into popularity ever since the release of Payload version 2, which was a precursor of the promising future and direction of the project. Now, as of the recording of this video, they are on version three, which is what allows it to be used directly within a Next.js project seamlessly. This sort of innovation is what we can continue to expect from the Payload team and is why I'm excited to continue using Payload and you should be excited to start using it if you're not already. Now be sure to subscribe to this channel and get notifications to make sure you're updated on all the content I'll be putting out about Payload CMS and how well it ties into Next.js. See you next time.